Hey there, everybody. I'm going to go through some, I'm going to call it ADL 101, uh, how to build your first algo. We have some samples out there on YouTube to actually show you how to, how to build a first algo, but I'm going to go, I'm going to start right from scratch in the help files. People ask me, where, how do you learn, to, or how do you learn to do ADL? How do you learn to build these algos and things? And um, I'm going to give you some insight on where to go. The help library on the TT website is very useful for this. And I'm going to show you how to get there and what you can really do. So I'm going to go from just the external web page. I'm going to scroll down and go to help library. Click on ADL. I'm going to click on introduction to ADL. And you're going to see that the very first contract or very first um, thing you pop up there shows an algo. It's called order stack algo. Uh, order stack algo stacks orders. It basically places what this one does. It places centered around the best bid price. It's going to place three asks and three bids. So a total of six orders, three in the bid side, three in the offer side with a single click of a mouse. And I'm going to show you how to build and do that right now. So we're going to go over to ADL. And um, so I guess I'm just going to use euro dollars. I'm going to take the these 20 year dollar contracts. And like we said, this is going to be based on a bid price. I'll take a bid price. Take that field block and change that over to bid price, just like that. Um, I know I'm going to use this instrument block later on. It's going to add a little jump block to it right there. Now, off the bid price, let's say I want to calculate in the asks that I'm going to put in there off the bid price, so I have to know how does this thing tick, right? You know the bid price of how far away from the bid price going to go. So I'm going to take another field block and connect it to my instrument block. I'm going to change this from ask price down to minimum tick increment. Now we'll see that these year dollars trade in halves. So obviously my first offer here should go in at 99.61, then 61 half, and 62. Let's see how that goes. Um, that's the next thing I'm going to do here. Next thing we want to do is so this is going to be an adder block addition. I'm going to add. Now to get to that first ask price, then you take the bid price. Now I could take the minimum tick increment if I want to do this just one time. And you know, simple math, you'll see that I've now got my offer at nine. My offer is going to go at nine sixty one, but I don't want to do that. I want to do this three times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a loop block. I'm going to run the logic through a loop. Loop. And while I'm at it, up here I want to put in an order quantity. So let's say the order quantity is going to be 100 contracts. So each order is going to be going for 100 contracts. I'm going to call this my order block. Just like that. Back to the loop block. The loop block, I want to do this three times. I'm going to put in three bids and three offers. I'm going to sandwich the market with bids and offers. Times three, and now the loop box has got to sit in here. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to tell it to start so we get a generator block. And the generator block by default is set to every start. We're running this over here like that. So now every time I start the algo, it's going to tell the loop block to run through three times. It's going to run the logic that I've built and do that three times. So, what's the logic going to be now? Now the logic I need to get is I want to have the index, which is the number of loops. We're going to loop one, loop two, loop three, three times. And I'm going to multiply that times the minimum tick amount. Let's go multiply block. I'm going to run this by the minimum tick, which is 0 0.50 times the index. And that's going to give me, obviously, the first time through it's going to be it's going to be 0.5, then it'll be one, then it'll be 1.5. I'm going to go 0.5 times one for the first for the index of one, 0.5 times two for the index of two, 0.5 times three for the index of three. And now I'm going to connect this multiply block into this addition block with the bid price. So I'm going to add this on. This is my ask price is going up above there. And I'm going to call this. New calculated quant new calculated place is my ask price level. Just like that. 
Now I got my, now this is going to go three times, so I'm going to get, a, I'm going to get three. <coughs> excuse me, offers based off of this. It's coming up with the bid price right now, so because the loop box doesn't run, so it's multiplying it by zero, or the minimum bid times zero. But when it actually runs, it'll be you know one times 0.5, one two times 0.5. We're going to do that. So let's go into the ask size. How many get the ask size now? Well, I'm sorry, the bid size. That's the ask size. So the the ask size, or the ask prices, I need to subtract from the bid. So I'm going to get a subtraction block like this from the bid price and that multiplier. Now this is going to generate my bid price level. Real quick and easy. And again, they're matched up right now, but that's only because of the fact that the loop box isn't run, so it has no multiplier here. So that's the logic to actually create the three price levels. That simple. Uh, now we're going to need some order blocks. I need something to do with this. So I'm going to get um, a discrete order block. I could get a regular order block, but the regular order block does more than what it needs. So um, that allows you to manage the order, do some other things. So a discrete order block is kind of referred to as a one and done block. It basically places an order and it's done. That's all it does. It's going to stick the orders out there and it's not going to worry. It's not going to take any more resources. It's just going to do that and be quiet. So I need to do this in the cell side. I'm going to flip this to cell. I also need to do this in the buy side. Now let's leave that as buy. Now what, what I'm going to be buying and selling. Let's get that instrument block and run through here. I'm going to be buying and selling December 20 year dollars. So 20 year dollars. And I need something to trigger that order block to place the order. So it's going to be the loop block for one, two, three. First time through, second time through, third time through, it's going to place an ask and a bid, an ask and a bid, and ask and a bid three times. Okay. Makes sense. Hopefully it does. Uh, let me put the size up a little bit. And what I want to do now is I want to create alert. I'm going to add some alert blocks. But even before I do that, I'm going to go back and check my problems tab. The problems tab is going to tell me I've got problems. Uh, what are my problems? Let's look. At, let's take a look at that. Um, problems tab: invalid block, discrete discrete order zero, formulas are required for price and quantity. What's discrete order zero? I know it's this one, but if I click on this, it's going to tell me right away too. All right, so now I know that there's a problem. With this block. I'm going to click on the block. It's telling me the formulas are required. So let's click on the formula section. Edit. So it tells me I need a price. So I, I want those ask prices then, right? Yeah, so let's go to ask price level. Quantity. I know that that's an order quantity block. I put down for that hundred dots. So I'm gonna add that as well. Let's do that on the bid side as well to clear this error message. Price is gonna be the bid price level, right? And then my quantity is going to be the order quantity that I added in earlier. And then these other ones you don't need to miss right now. Don't worry about those. That's more advanced. We'll do that some other time. So now we're set. We basically have this is all the logic we need to place three, to place a total of six orders. It's going to place three buys and three off three asks based off of what I've done here. Now let's check this and make sure it goes correctly. So I'm going to add some alert blocks. Alert blocks can be added anywhere along your algo logic to basically grab the grab the flow of the chain. The logic kind of flows through like this. Blah, 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 blah. Now it's going to get to here, and this is going to tell me what actually happens to this block. What is this block doing? When this block fires, what's it doing? Well, let's go find. I'm going to, I'm going to go into the edit formula. First, I'm going to make this red. If I make it red, I know that the order will go through auto trail in the in the UI of uh, shaded red. So I'll know that it's a cell side order. But what do I want this, this alert to tell me? I want the alert to tell me that I am asking and um, I want to know what's my price level. So hashtag, no, quantity, hashtag, go to quantity. So offer it 100 contracts at what price? I'm going to go and I'm going to put the at symbol so it reads kind of nice. At and hashtag. Uh, limit price. Okay, so now it's going to tell me three times. It's going to tell me I'm asking or offering 100 contracts at the price.
good, good. All right. Let's do that on the buy side too. Got another work block. Let's hit that. Hit that. This thing here. Hit that. Make this one blue. I'm going to add this information. It says that bidding and oops, maybe I need um quarter whoops. That I need yeah, no I need finish day. Bidding and, and, uh, and oh I know why. A little mistake there. See that I had a hashtag instead of a uh, quote. And hashtag is the order quantity and at and limit price. So now three times you're going to go through and put the limit price. And I want to point out something too. You know, see how this changed from yellow to blue? To go back here, this is telling me the formula that's not going to compile. It's got a problem with it, so I have to add more to it. Just clear this up wrong because this band down here is yellow. So once I add in the limit price, it goes to blue, which means you're good to go. You got a solid formula. Okay, so I got that now. So I got that. Now I have my algo set up. This is literally all there is to it. I'm going to run it now here in a second. First, I want to show you um, what it's going to do in the UI. So I'm going to show you an indie trader over to the platform and see what that looks like. Boom, boom, boom. Now you can see indie trader for the, these are the DS 20 euro dollars. You'll see there's no bids. I've got no bids and offers in there right now, right? All right, let's go back and see if we can change that. So now I'm going to go ahead and click the start button. Actually, I'm going to show the alerts. I'm going to click the alerts. The start button. Oh, instrument is account. Instrument is what? I've got another error. So what do I got to do? It's got to add an account. Add an account. It's like that. Run it. Boom. There you go. I've got my three orders. I have three offers. I have three bids placed in the marketplace. I can go back over to DD Platform and see those orders. Transition over. There you go. Got it all. So those are that is a very simple algo. That's how it's built. Real easy, real simple. Didn't take long at all. Pretty painless. And I showed you what happens. Yeah, I made some mistakes. It's going to happen sometimes too, but you know what? Generally, there's information that pops up and tells you exactly what's going on, why there's a problem, what you have to fix. So, we got all that, got all the problems fixed, we got it all resolved, and that is the very first algo that you see in the TT Help files. It shows you how to build that. So, go build it. Go build it. If you have questions, if you have problems, let me know. If you want to get into more detail, go to the TT Help library. So, from the front page, and go to community. And go to the space that says ADL and go in there. And if you have questions, you can put them in there. You can put them anywhere on, on this, uh, wherever I have this entered, I have YouTube, wherever you see this at. And the help library, not the help library, but the community is a great resource as well. Lots of people have put questions in here. Lots of people have answered questions that you can build off here. There's a lot of examples. You'll find a lot of examples. You can go in and actually build. And a lot of times the algo has some pretty detailed instructions on how it's, how it's built down here. So you can go along and build the algos just like you find them in here. So I recommend you clicking away through there as well too. Um, see the thing is built and I can take it off the top of my head. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here. So feel free to get in there, check it out, learn. If you have any questions, comments, just let me know. That's it. I'm signing off.